What's up, everyone? Today on Frank's Music World, we will be reviewing the Randall Century 170 head. Um, there is not a lot of reviews on YouTube about this amplifier. Um, my personal opinion, I think this amplifier rocks, even though that it's not the Century 200 head um, or the Century 200 Mark II. It does still have the same type of girth and growl, but just like with anything else, a majority of amplifiers, especially solid states, if you really want, you know, a good tone, you know, you got to boost the hell out of it. And I do have this bad boy boosted um, in several different places. Um, first, starting with the course six band EQ out in front. Um, then I have a Zach Wild Overdrive. And then a uh, Electro Harmonics, the LPB1, um, the Power Booster. Um, I just recently picked that up because this amplifier is pretty much the same thing as the Century 200, but it is missing the uh, independent EQ uh, ranges and um, it's missing the sustain boost. Um, it doesn't really have a presence knob or presence frequency, but it does have the gain voicing, so I'm assuming that's pretty much just like a, I don't know, s subtle way to say, hey, that's your presence. Um, but anyways, um, it doesn't have the sustain boost switch too, so um, in order to have that boost and that sustain, you know, to give you that extra girth and everything like that, that's where the LPB1 comes into play in, in my rig. Um, and then that's out front. Then in the effects loop, I have the MXR micro amp, and I have the Rain PE15 parametric equalizer. Um, this thing actually kind of sounds like garbage if you run it through the front of the amp. I don't understand why, but I believe that that's probably these ones or these Rain models are just probably meant to go through your effects loop. But, um,. Anyways, that's where I got it boosted, the MXR microamp, uh, parametric equalizer, six band, Zach Wild, and the power booster. <clears throat> um, I have a couple pre-recorded clips of just this amplifier. Um, it's per like it's ju just the amp amp's tone itself, just the clean and just the overdrive. Um, I do have those. I will be mixing that in with this video, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty much this is it. You can get, honestly, if, you, if you're thinking about getting one of these and you see it, I wouldn't pass it up because you can actually really get these super, super, super close to Dimes Tone, which you will hear in the video um, as soon as I'm done shutting up and talking here. But um, now the only thing in this, I don't have the Rock Drawn uh, Guitar Silencer activated I don't have a power plug for it and, and in the works of trying to get one right now but as far as my noise gate it's just my usual smart gate um, but yeah I mean this is a great amp I mean if you're thinking about you know this one or and I, and I do believe that the RG170 ES is the prelude to the Century 170 and I think the RG200 ES is the prelude to the Century 200. I believe that's how it goes. You can correct me if I'm wrong, and that's all right. Um, but yeah, then, then I have a doubler. Finally got a doubler, um, but it's in the form of the MXR digital time delay, which actually is pretty cool. You got your delay, and then you also too have a flanger. Then you have a chorus, and then, of course, you got your doubler. So this is what I use for my doubler. Um, and then I use... Carbon copy just for your basic, you know, delays and all that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, the basis. This is a really good amplifier. Even the clean channel on it's pretty good. Um, it is very loud. It is very, very, very loud. And um, I believe that if you're in search of a 200 and you can't come across it, this is your answer. And I promise you, you won't be di uh, disappointed. Um, but without further ado, let's uh, let's dive right on into the tunes. I'll be right back.
forgot to tell you guys, I will be recording everything, uh, speech and guitar playing out of this. This is the IK Multimedia Studio mic. Um, this is a pretty good mic. It does a pretty good job. I like it. Um, I hope you guys will like it. I forgot to add that in there. That's my mistake, so we'll, we're, we're getting there. Okay, one last final word. Today we'll be playing through my Dean, Far Beyond Driven. This is the tribute. This is the Korean uh, model. Um, I got the really cool dime bag stickers thanks to Dime Bag Rig Project. You know them great people out there. If you're looking for them stickers, hit them up. So, anyways, here we go. We're, I'm going to plug in the microphone. So, from what I'm going to do is basically I'll break it down for you. I'll shut everything off. I'll play. Obviously, I, I have the blue face uh, six band, so I can't switch that off. So, I'm just going to go through each stages and then the final process. You should hear a dime and you shouldn't be disappointed. Okay, here we go.
Okay, well, that is my tone for the Randall Sentry 170 head. Um, that is my vulgar display of power tone. That's the best I can do with what I have. I don't necessarily have, you know, the equipment that Dime used, you know, like the Furman uh, PQ4. Um, I don't have, you know, the MXR Flanger Doubler. I don't have, uh, you know, the Sentry 200. But, you know, I do got the Century 170. If you boost it, you get a parametric equalizer. You can get pretty darn close to his tone. And it is um, a pain in the rear end to try to dial in. But I finally got it all set up and dialed into where I believe it. it's, it's the best that I can do with what I got. But um, I hope this review was helpful for everyone. So don't hate on the little guy. Okay, he can do good things. You know, this is the big guy in the RG series, but this is a little guy in the Century series. Don't pick on him. You know, he does the best he can, and he does work as long as you boost the hell out of him. Um, so these things, I don't know how much these are price-wise. I didn't buy this. I traded a guitar for the head and these rack effects. So I did. Um, so I don't really know how much these are going for. I do know the two hundreds was in search uh two grand it was the cheapest i found in that so i don't know what these things are worth but if you come across them them are the rg 170 es and the rg 200 es you know those are the preludes to the centuries so but if you do come across this or either of those ones get them because you won't be disappointed um now i do know some people have used a Behringer parametric equalizer. I've heard people say that they do a pretty good job. I don't know. I wasn't really into Behringer uh, equipment and stuff. But, um, yeah.
that's what I have, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, you know, leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or you have any ideas on, you know, certain things or all that kind of stuff. I am willing to accept any, you know, help and all that kind of stuff, but um, I won't get offended, so don't, don't think I'll get offended. So you can say whatever you want. But anyways, for this edition and this episode of Frank's Music World, I am Frank, and I will see y'all later. God bless. Love you.